Hey guys, welcome back to another quick little tutorial uh, on JavaScript in Canvas. And in this little tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add text to the Canvas element. As always, working from a base here that you can find the link to down in the comments. All right, so I'm uh, going to start with just how do we add it, how does it work? So let's do the context variable. So ctx is, again, the variable that I have set up. ctx dot and I'm going to do a fill text, and this is the method. And so inside of the fill text arguments, we need three of them. We need what is the text that you're going to add, and then the location of the text, so the x and y coordinates. So let's just add in some text first. So I'll say this is text, and then arguments are separated by commas. And notice that if it's just text that you're adding, uh, putting quotes around it. It is possible to add in more than uh, if you want to add it in like a variable or something like that You're welcome to do that as well, but for, for this lesson We'll just do some uh, basic text and then I'm going to start at uh, zero zero Just so you can kind of see what happens when we add in this text So when I hit run you will see that it does not show up and the reason it doesn't show up is this location zero zero is talking about the bottom left corner of the text. So it's the beginning of the text at the bottom front. Okay, so if I actually just bump this down, so if I bump it down, let's say 10 pixels, so again it's going to be on the far left side of it, but now down 10 pixels, let's see what happens. You can see there is the text that we have. Okay, and then you see here by default uh, this is a 10 pixel sans serif font, so like an Arial type font. There's no uh, no caps on them, All right? And if I was to uh, increase the x, you'll see that it bumps over to the right. Okay, so there you go. So here's how that's the simplest way to add text with the location of the x and the y. Well, let's do one other here, just so you can see what it looks like. Let's go ctx dot stroke text. So and um, I'll say this is more text, and I'm going to bump it over a little bit further, so I'll say 200, oops, make sure I finish the quotes, I'll say 200, and down 10 as well, and when you do run, you can see that you kind of, well that one looks more bold, but let's, we'll make it bigger and, and show you can kind of see the difference. All right, so you have a fill text, which is the inside of it, and then you have a stroke text, which is the outside of it, the outline. Well, how do we talk about how, let's talk about how to change the font itself. So before you call these, we can actually set the font properties of it. So I'm going to go ctx.font equals, and all of this is going to go inside of quotes. The simplest way to do it is to just change the size and then the font family that you want to use. So I'll make it uh, 20 pixels, and I'm going to change it to a new font. And the font just needs to be installed because uh, on your computer. So this is uh, JavaScript is client side. So it means it's using the fonts on your computer. And so I'll use uh, something I have on mine, agency uh, FB. And let's see what happens when we run that. So you can see there is the font, uh, a little bit bigger. Um, but notice that because it's a 20 pixel font, it is actually going off the top of the canvas. So let's bump that down. Let's just make it move it down to 100, 100, and then that way we can see um, see a little bit better. All right, so there you go. So you can see there is my uh, font with the size. And again, if I make that even bigger, let's go 40, hit run. You can see there is the font, uh, a little bit easier to read. Now, notice that it affects both. Uh, both text calls. So it affects both the fill and the stroke. So if I wanted to change those, I could actually come in here and I could change the font property before I call the next one. So I could go in here and I could go 40, um, uh, let's go 60 pixels, agency, FB. So that all it will do is just change the size of it. So you can see it's a little bit bigger. So really simple, easy way to change the font properties, but there's actually some more properties that you can change. I want to make my text bold. I want to make it italics. So you can do that all in the same font property call. So let's do it on the on 
the first one here. And it has to go before your size and the font family that you choose. Okay, so make sure that that works. So let's just make this one bold, for instance. So I'll go bold, 40 pixels, agency FB. If I hit run, you can see that it makes it bold. Let me show you what happens if you don't put it before. So if you're like, well, why isn't this working? Well, let's say I put it after the font size and I put it in there. You will see that it changes the font. So it's not even the correct font anymore. And so uh, the only thing it recognizes is the 40 pixels. And then it goes to a default um, serif font. So make sure that you put it in the correct order. Okay, so bold works. Let's make sure this works again. Uh, I'll go down to the other one, and you can actually go um, italic if you want to do that. So you could go something in that regard. And, and you can actually add uh, bold and italic together. So if I wanted to make bold, italic, this one here, you can see that we'll do that. And then one more little property to add in there would be something like small caps. And I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see here, it still has an upper and lowercase capitals, but they're all capital letters. So that's what they call small caps. Okay, so hope this helps you uh, in your project that you're working on. Uh, again, just re remembering or learning how to add text to your canvas and also changing the properties. All right, have fun with it.